Hi. Happy New Year. Mum, where come we're from? It is January 2006 in Bethlehem, Palestine. Adnan is out in the street trying to bring clients to his souvenir shop in the town centre. Not many tourists are around. Six years of intifada have left the town wounded and scarred. And the recent unexpected victory of Hamas, the leading Islamist party in the Palestinian territories, in the national elections, cast a cloud of uncertainty as to what is to come. I first met Adnan seven years ago. last November before the new millennium. I came to Bethlehem to witness how it was preparing to celebrate the 2000th birthday of its most famous son, Jesus Christ. We met four young Palestinians, the millennium generation. My name is Elizabeth Jackaman. I'm 17 and a half years old. I live in Bethlehem. I have um, three sisters and one brother. Everybody knows, I think, that Jesus was born here in Bethlehem. And it's a good thing to be near Jesus because we go to church every Sunday where Jesus was born. We pray there. I believe that if I live in Bethlehem, I'll be near to Jesus. I, don't, I know that he's in heaven, but he's always near to us. And the word he was born is very holy. My name is Adnan Khalil Ali. I am a student at Bethlehem University. I study social work, psychology, and I married and have one child. And uh, I'm working here in the shop at the same time. Really my dream to be free, to have good health, really to live in peace life. Because the health is better than money and business. And to be free to go any place, I like it. I have freedom better than everything in the world. My name is Carlo and uh, I'm 25 years. I finish uh, my school. After that I go in, to Greece for study. And I live there uh, five years. And now I come back here and I live now with my family, with my parents. And I work here and uh, I will sit here now. My name is Mohammed Mohammed אתה בן אדם, וגם אני בן אדם, כן? עכשיו, מה בינינו? אתה חושב במשהו, וגם אני חושב במשהו אחר. בעולם הזה כל אדם חושב כמו הוא צריך. זה מה אני צריך להגיד לך. אני שאלתי, איך אתה יודע את ההיברו, את האנשים שלך, כל כך טוב? אני מבטיח, אני מבטיח. מה הכי? בית-לחם היא מבטיחה מבטיחה לבית ג'ווי ולג'ווי 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 ולג'ו it is reputed to be the birthplace of King David and, amongst other referenced, is the burial place of Rachel, 
one of the four mothers of the Jewish people. The town is most known for its role in the New Testament, where it is written that Jesus Christ was born. The story of Bethlehem continued as one of conquests and foreign rule. After centuries under Roman and then Byzantine authority, it was captured by the Persians in the 7th century. In 1099, it was taken away from the Muslims by the Crusaders, who lost it to Saladin less than a century later. Palestine then became a part of the Ottoman Empire until its fall, apart from a short period in the early 19th century when it was conquered by Muhammad Ali of Egypt. After the First World War, Palestine was placed under a British mandate. By that time, growing waves of European Jews were immigrating into Palestine and the conflict between the Zionist movement and the local Arabic population had become fierce and violent. According to the UN Partition Plan of 1947, Bethlehem and Jerusalem were to remain under international administration. Yet in the aftermath of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the town came under Jordanian control. Many Palestinian refugees settled in and around Bethlehem. In the 1967 war, Israel conquered the entire West Bank from Jordan, including the town of Bethlehem. The town remained under Israeli rule until 1995, when as part of the Oslo Agreement, it became one of the few areas under full control of the Palestinian Authority. Bethlehem has been a place of pilgrimage since the dawn of Christianity. In the year 327 AD, Queen Helena built the basilica over the cave where Jesus is believed to have been born. It became known as the Nativity Church, one of Christianity's holiest places. Carlo and Harda told me about their experience in the first Intifada. It was beautiful the first time. Because uh, we can't, uh, we can't understand uh, what we're doing, and uh, <laughs> we we was uh, 14, and uh, the other boys 20, 25. We were going to the Sefer. 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 Not just for us, it was beautiful. And uh, for the Israel, yeah? we see it in the streets, it was beautiful, and they smiled when they have a gun and uh, kill some, uh, somebody. Maybe it was beautiful for them. Every day we know from this street uh, they will coming uh, every one hour, something like this, every two hours we wait. <laughs> 